For TraderInsight.com, I'm Julie Manns, and this is the Unfinished Business Report for Thursday, January 18th. First, let's take a look at the three ideas I had from yesterday. One was a long, that didn't go anywhere at all. That was in OC, if you want to take a look yourself. The two that I want to look at are TGT Target, and you can see they're up on screen now, and the left is the five minute, the right is the daily. They gapped it down on me, so we thought that perhaps it would go lower. See how it's hanging down here from yesterday and the meat of it was down at the bottom of its daily range. Today they gapped it down. <clears throat> that doesn't always mean that you won't find something in the stock and that's also true of this one. So look at the daily. This is the opening. This was today's trade. Let's make it so you can see the scaling is 20 cents here. You see they gapped it down from way up here, came down and then pulled back. Now this is where you're looking. It made a consolidation with a descending triangle here and then another consolidation and then made a real big nice move. So that was one idea I hope you took advantage of. The other one that had opportunity was GNRC. Now this was a more lightly traded stock so you had to be a little more patient with this one um, and maybe you had to, to call to have this borrowable to the short side but it was still a good idea. You can see that it opened traded lower but then pulled back up had a loose consolidation before heading down south. Now this one had maybe 20, 30 cents a profit. Target was definitely a much better play, but two good ideas on a day that frankly was a real bear for us. It was really a sort of a stubborn market that didn't really want to go either way for us. Adrian did have a really great news play, so that's the advantage of coming and joining us in the trading room because things will come in intraday even if the day is fighting the plan that we had from the day before. Okay, let's look at tomorrow's trading ideas. Okay, first on my list is ANET. This was a short from today on our stocks to watch list. We have three different sections on Adrian's plans. Some of them are the plan trades that have the famous returns and the others are more ideas from the night before. Things, trades he didn't wanna just throw out, but things that looked good and we look for stops intraday. So the ANET was on that list as a short. You can see it traded up sharply in the morning, but it did hit some resistance and then start trading lower today. If you look over on the daily, again, it's just like that target uh, bar chart was from yesterday on the daily that this is a, I'm gonna call it a meatball. It's a big meatball. <laughs> so it's there at the bottom and I'm gonna look to see if it doesn't move lower tomorrow. Also on my list will be IT. IT also pulled up today. The day was really trying to go long and it was just fighting, fighting it the whole time. But then again, it didn't want to give it up and go short. But you can see that there was an intraday move to the short side on this one. It was a short for us today. It didn't trigger on our regular plan um, and it is sort of in the middle of its range. So just keep this one on the back burner. See how it opens. And if it's at the bottom of that bar, that might also be a great short play. So one I like even less than IT, so this is actually in order, this is in a ranked order tonight, is FN. So here again on the daily, it really held yesterday's closing range and did close a little bit higher today. So I will keep it on my list just as I scroll through and I can look to see if tomorrow, if it opens to the weak side, it might have a real nice um, fall down here. I'm keeping it because I like the way this pulled back up so sharply but then couldn't hold it. So it'd be interesting to see if it doesn't, you know, take another dip to the downside if there's weakness tomorrow. Okay, I hope everyone has a great, great trading day. If you head to our website, traderinsight.com, this is what you'll see. If you hit contact up here, you can send us an email or you can send me an email directly, julie at Trader Insight, and let me know you wanna join us for a two week trial period if you haven't done so already. Or if you have done that, come on back. It's a new year. There's a lot of trading going on. All right, I hope everyone's having a good day. See you tomorrow.